Well, you know that old saying, you get what you pay for? I guess us not paying for our pain is causing us to get a lot of spots. So, how are your Composters working. Well, we haven't tried this one yet because, as you can see, the lid won't stay shut because on its own it's collapsing. So, the uh, and this is, I guess, staying the shape of the, the barrel originally, so it's leaving a big gap. I put another hinge on this side, but it's still not working, so I don't know what the uh, solution is. But I might just try it anyway and see how much falls out. <laughs> Hopefully not too bad. The only other, I guess, option is to put another hinge or two more better quality hinges about midway to keep it down. That would be a, about the only other option that we have. Right, this one, this uh, cap keeps popping off. Does that affect the composter? No, but it's just annoying. And uh, this lock, you got to make sure you, you think whenever you lock it sometimes um, that it's locked so you keep going and it's not. That's what I did. I messed, messed up. I thought I turned it all the way. I started tumbling and it just all came out. Whenever you turn it, you got to make sure that it's locked. And uh, the other, other problem is... Uh, whenever you turn it, look under there, you can see some of the stuff falling out. So it's not real. No. These gaps right here aren't real sealable. So that's uh, one of the other problems. But other than that, I mean, it'll probably be all right. We've only had it in here for a couple of weeks, so see how it, uh, what the final product looks like in a few weeks or however long it takes. We'll review it again.